Welcome to this new video of Kubernetes for beginners in our series. So today we're going to talk about control plane, cluster, node, overview, right? So far we have talked about control plane individually. We talk about cluster individually, and we talk about node individually. So, so far we have said, um, we have like actually went ahead and dissect those elements individually. And on our previous uh, video, I'm going to ping that. I'm going to ping those video on the description of this one. So. Let's deep dive and see uh, what is an overview of control plane, cluster, and node. So uh, we have the control plane. So the Kubernetes architecture and the Kubernetes architecture, we have a control plane, which is actually the brain that control everything, right? Control plane is actually the brain that control everything. Then we have the cluster, right? So the control plane control the cluster. So we have the, the cluster. So the control plane control the cluster, for example. Now, inside the control plane, we have the scheduler, which is the element that is there to schedule actually pod inside the, 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 the cluster. And we have the ETCD. The ETCD is actually the element that store important information of the cluster, right? So when Kubernetes want to know what's happening in the cluster, you just need to read ETCD to see and store that in forms of key uh, uh, key value, right? So key pair value. Now we have the controller manager. The controller manager is just actually the element that actually manage the state of the cluster, right? It manage the state of the of the of the cluster. Now we have the API server, which is an element that allow communication, right? So the API server is actually the element that allow communication with the cluster because in reality, the controller manager, the scheduler, the ETCD doesn't talk directly with the cluster. Even uh, a human, uh, you as a human being, when you are communicating, you don't communicate directly with the cluster, you communicate directly with the API server and the API server is the one that sends your request inside the cluster. Now, inside the cluster, now we have the control plane, then we have the cluster, the control plane control the cluster, and it has four important elements, ETCD, controller manager, API server, and scheduler. Now, inside the cluster, we have node. Inside the cluster, we have node. And inside the node, we have Kubelet. So actually, the API server, the controller plane communicate with the cluster through the API server. And the API server talk directly to Kubelet, as you guys can see the error going on. So inside the node again, we have kubeproxy. Kubeproxy actually manage networking. And also inside the node, we have Docker. We have container runtime. It can be like container D can be Docker, but uh, nowadays container D is the one that's being used. So that's just the nomenclature of the, the control plane, the cluster and the node, right? That's just a nomenclature, the most important element of each of those. I hope you like the video. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.